What's up, YouTube? It's your friendly neighborhood Yu Gi Oh! superhero, Ben 10,000 YGO, and today, guys, we're talking Yu Gi Tubers. Stick around. Alright, so in case you guys are new here, uh, if you don't know, around this time. Um, last year, I did a video talking about the five my five favorite YouTubers of the year of 2017. So this year, I decided I'm going to do the same kind of video because, you know, I couldn't help but, you know, shout out other YouTubers. Some of them might need it, some of them might not, and I am a small person. But you know what? To hell with it! <laughs> I'm going to shout out who I want to. Uh, bad jokes aside... This is uh, something I'm kind of passionate about. I like to, you know, just talk about the the Yugi tubers that have uh, either provided the most entertainment uh, or you know some other kind of uh, quality content that I enjoyed. So uh, I, without further ado, uh, let's get started. Oh, and before we get into that though, just so everybody knows, there is there there is no hierarchy among these Yugi tubers for me. They're all equally enjoyed. They're just enjoyed for different reasons and different stuff. So, starting with number one. We're going to start with somebody who made the list last year, and that's my good buddy, uh, Mike, a.k.a. Slim. Now, Slim's on this list because, uh, to be honest with you, he started doing some of his older, uh, you know, segments that he used to do on his channel, but he's been revamping them with, the, you know, his... With, you know for the modern game and on top of that you know Slim's a really friendly guy like I said in the previous video that's like this I mean the guys helped me more times than I can count <laughs> and he more ways than he knows and the truth is he's just he's an overall person a great person he's just a person <laughs> number two on this list is somebody who also made it on the list last year is uh paul from team aps or just team aps altogether they're all really great guys uh the reason why paul made it is actually kind of what some of his newer content he's been doing he's been adding skits to his to his video lineup and oh my gosh they're hilarious just absolute comedy gold like legitimately his buddy uh the, with the long hair i think it's i think it's tyrell is his name if i if i butchered your name brother I'm sorry it's been a while and I have slept uh, but he did this in the last skit they did he made this like this really just I don't want to ruin the skit for you but like uh, there's this thing where entire where he screams and he's like ah! and it was just it was just funny it just made me crack up <laughs> and it really sells the joke you should go make sure you guys check that out just saying if you're looking for a good laugh and and you're a Yu-Gi-Oh uh, player or personality, trust me, you will enjoy that. Three on this list is with somebody who's new to the scene. and He's a little bit bigger than I am, but he's still a small time Yugi tuber, and that is the Creative Duelist. Particularly this video he talked about about snobby Yu-Gi-Oh players, and uh, that was that was the video that sold it for me. I was like, that's the guy. That's a guy who got get where he's coming from. I'm gonna. That was the video that did that did it in. I was like, and subscribed. So <laughs> Benton. <laughs> was like there there's just something I can't stand about uh Yu-Gi-Oh players and or have snobby attitudes or make uh disparaging comments towards other Yu-Gi-Oh players so and make them feel bad for just you know playing the deck that they're playing uh and I can't I can't stand those kinds of people so uh you know you know they say birds of a feather flock together well apparently the creative duelist doesn't like those kinds of people either so him and I are on the same wavelength there we don't like bullies. Another new addition on this one is going to be Jonathan Moore, House of Champs. Uh, the reason why he's on this list is because uh, I really enjoy his market watches. They're some of the greatest uh, things that I, I get a chance to watch. And plus, I also enjoy like that he's a geek in other things, like myself. Like obviously, if you can't tell, I and I can't tell. I love superheroes. All right, that's my thing. Jonathan Moore's thing is good, is the kaiju stuff with like Godzilla and all that. My other big thing is superheroes. I love them. That's why I have this person persona here on YouTube as Ben 10,000 Y Joe because I was trying to combine, kind of combine my two favorite things. 
So I like superheroes, I like Yu-Gi-Oh. Which you would think that my favorite deck would be heroes, but they just aren't, which is, that's a weird dichotomy to have. It truly is. Anyway, <laughs> before I get off topic, how Jonathan Moore also, uh, he just provides this really, especially as of late, he's provided this very um, humble and very positive uh, aura about him and his channel, and I love it. He doesn't disparage casual players uh, from trying to be competitive with their casual deck, and I really love that. I think that that is something that Yu-Gi-Oh needs more of, and I think uh, I myself, the Creative Duelist, and Jonathan Moore, I think we're all in the same vein on that front, that uh, there's nothing wrong with being a rogue or a casual player trying to, you know, play your rogue and casual deck in a competitive sense, and we just won't, don't want to discourage that, and I think that it's, it's just great. So, uh, John, if you ever happen to see this, keep doing what you're doing. It's, it's quality stuff. Before we get to the last person on my list, let's do some honorable mentions because you guys like honorable mentions. And uh, my honorable mentions are uh, Jesse of Team FTK and you say, oh, you say YGO Pro. Uh, these, the reason why these two guys are getting honorable mentions most is, is because even though they are budding, actually Team FTK is like, he's finally up there. That team over there, the Team FTK, they're going to be a big time Yugi tubing group. Mark my words. Also, the Creative Duelist joined them. Just, just, just saying, just saying. <laughs> um, and then, of course, uh, what you say, YGO Pro. He is a YGO Pro channel. He does a lot of like replay videos. Um, but he is coming out of his show a little bit. He'll be, he'll be doing the talky talk, as he puts it soon. Soon, I think. I think we just got to give him a little encouragement because the guy, the guy's got some quality. Some I don't know, but I think his his creative dueling style is very interesting to watch. So you should definitely check out those channels. They're, they're the reason. And also, this might be a bit of a selfish reason to admit, but the truth is, they, they be, both of these guys helped me out this year. Uh, and what you say is going to be helping me out still, probably in going into 2019, because we're still in that race to 500. And I'm, mm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna speed past him. You might say I might accelerate past him. I don't know where I'm getting that word. All right, now I'm pretty sure I've made you guys wait long enough. For, so here's the final person on my top five Yugi tubers of 2018, and that final person is Blade Yu-Gi-Oh. Blade Yu-Gi-Oh is a—he's kind of a—he doesn't really get his own face on screen. He has this animated character that does the kind of does the talking for him, and that's I think his unique style of a uh, Yugi tubing. In fact. It was actually one of the styles that I personally had thought about doing, but I'm, I'm not skilled enough and my computer's kind of a dinosaur. So the truth is, I don't think I have the, the tech or the, the skills necessary to have done a character in front of you. But, you know, I, you know it was something I did th think of and he, he pulls it off like almost flawlessly. So I want to say like, you know, good job guy at Blade, who runs Blade Yu-Gi-Oh! I mean, I don't know your real name or anything, but I... I I thoroughly enjoy your videos. I think they're informative. I think they're fun. And I enjoy the little cartoon character you created for yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it might be a little bit different than what I'm normally doing, which is kind of my own weird uh, conversation plus YGO Pro replays thing, because that's what I do on this channel for the most part. But uh, I just wanted to shout out some Yugi tubers this year who have uh, either gave me inspiration. Uh, you know, helped me out or inspired me in some form or fashion. So that is what this is all about. And make sure you guys check the description of this video because they are all going to be in there. All seven of the Yugi tubers that I mentioned in this video, all their links will be in there. Go check them all out. Go give them all subscriptions. They're wonderful Yugi tubers in their own right. They all bring something different to the table. And even if we didn't bring some of them, bring something similar, it's not exactly the same, so you should still check it out. And if you guys like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you're new here to the Ben to the 10,000 of YGO channel, please give me a sub. I am trying to beat you, say, to 500 here, and he is whooping my butt. All right, so if you guys wanna help me out and win the race to 500, you know, please give me a sub. <laughs> I'm begging you at this point. Anyway, guys. I'm Ben Tintas Wajo, your friendly neighborhood Yu-Gi-Oh! superhero, and I'm signing off. Peace, guys.